Hey guys, how is it going? Um, I wanted to make a video to uh, introduce you to uh, the game of uh, DOT, Defenders of uh, Texel. So um, first, let's start with the fighters. There's one thing that you should know about this game first, is that you can only self-fuse uh, guard. If you mix uh, guards, you will, nothing is going to happen. You're just going to increase the experience point of uh, the original guard, but it will not create a mix of the two guards. So, if you want to evolve uh, creatures and fighters, they have to be self-fused uh, and that's it. There's something also that you should know is when um, a guard, when a fighter is uh, evolving, the XP is always fully transferred. So don't hesitate to increase the level of your fighters at any point in time, even if you plan to fuse them later to make them become rare or epic. So no worries about that. There's something that uh, is uh, not explained also in the game is that as you probably know already there are four uh, levels of uh, rarity for the guards and it's a uh, common, uncommon, rare and epic. If a guard evolves it will only evolve two levels meaning if the original guard is a common fighter then it will only go up to rare and if it's an uncommon as a base fighter then eventually it can become an epic. The way you can uh, know if a guard has uh, can evolve is you, there should be an arrow next to its name. So for example this guy can evolve to epic and you will notice that there is an arrow here next to its SEF. So like this guy here I already fused it with two other with himself twice so it's the, he's the combination of three of them basically and another three guys and he will become epic for another example is this one you see there's no arrow is because the base fighter was common it was uh, fused to become uncommon and eventually rare and now it's over it can't get any better you can only self-fuse it up to six times and it will become the max. There's something that you should know also is uh, the special ability which is uh, written here. This number here indicates how many rounds uh, it takes to charge the special. So here it starts with a base of two. Once you get three of them f fused together it will become one and then when you have finally reached five out of five which means six uh, guard uh, self-fused it will become zero. Another example, this guy has a very long uh, time to charge. It takes six action, six rounds of attack to uh, charge the special. But once I manage to self-fuse it with another of himself uh, and reach two to five, it will become, the number six will become five. And then when it's reached five out of five, its maximum level of uh, fusion, it will become four. Next, there different ways to obtain guards obviously through events ranking etc but you can build them to build them you have to go to this page you can either have pixit doxit or voxit pixit it's simple most common uh, uh, fighters that you're gonna get are gonna be the common fighters here voxit is uh, an upgraded version basically of pixit because the, the lowest you can get here is un our uncommon fighters. Finally, the Doxit is something that you will only see during events such as PvPs. And they will give you typically guards that are common in uh, the dungeons that you will uh, encounter during the PvP event. So that leads me to talk about the events. So there are three types of events so far in this game. They are the dungeon, the raid and the PvP. So this week is a PvP week. Typically, it alternates the, in the following way. It's going to be dungeon, then raid, then dungeon, then PvP, dungeon, raid, dungeon, PvP, and so on. So dungeon is every other week, raid is every, every four weeks, and PvP is every four weeks. Each event is always a week. Uh, typically, dungeon, what happens is... Um, you go to journey and this is what's going to happen every day only one dungeon is going to be open uh, i believe that yesterday that one was open today this one is open and tomorrow this one will be open that's three days then another cycle of three days you go around again and the seventh day typically all three dungeons will be open and you can like finish missions that you haven't had time to do before PvP, unfortunately I cannot show it to you now, but it's basically the normal story 
actually so you go to the normal story and uh, you should see that screen and you should be here um, at this point and then basically you do uh, you do the missions there are usually three mission and then a, a boss three mission a boss three mission a boss etc and while you uh, advance in those missions you will encounter every very often almost like every other step um, fifty percent of the time basically you will encounter a PvP match that's pretty straightforward you will understand it uh, raid is basically you have to kill a big boss uh, you work in teams and you have uh, completely overpowered bosses and you try to um, basically do damage to them more than to kill them because they're basically impossible to kill so it demands the work of a whole team to work together finally uh, for you to have to get a nice head start a good a good investment to do is to buy uh, 500 coins and to spend them in the following way you, you should definitely definitely get the starter kits the starter kits are basically ten dollars worth of stuff of items that you can purchase for one dollar and that's only available during the three first day i believe that you can potentially buy even four of them if you time it well i was only able to buy three of them because i took took time for me to decide to buy uh, coins also i believe that uh, the premium build the first time that you're going to build a premium build here is going to be only a hundred uh, coins so i guess that's a pretty good discount so i would do it so if i was to start over i would probably buy five dollars worth of coins get 500 coins and get four starter kits and a premium build so this way you get four tents and a bunch of duct tape and, and vox and things like that to help with your stamina as well as, as beaters and things like that and with the last 100 uh, coins that you get you can buy a premium build which will get you at least a rare uh, fighter and finally uh, the best uh, thing to do is uh, to use your invite code so you'd go to I believe I see that because I already used it but if you guys for you guys you should go here invite ID then you see your ID mine is uh, GC42 yours is different and then you ent you enter you use it and you enter it hopefully you use mine and then you try to share yours with your friends and you should get um, typically it's gonna change every week actually but uh, you should get this this thing you should get two rare fighters which is pretty awesome uh, duct tape which I believe you cannot buy I haven't seen it available uh, five voxit so that's remember that's the silver stone that you use to get at least uncommon fighters plus the plus those baninis baninus sorry that basically three of them and each of them gets once when they are fused with a um, fighter they get them 500 uh, experience point which basically levels uh, rare from level 0 to level 9 or 10 depending on the rare so um, if all of that combined you would get a bunch of uh, stamina a bunch of um, a bunch of items um, you should get two rare here plus the one you bought you get three rare plus five uh, at least uncommon so you pretty much have a pretty good team to start you'll have three rare five uncommon and whatever fighters you have so that's pretty good in my opinion that's like a team that you should get after like a week or two uh, of uh, struggling and here after two or three days or even after the first day once you enter the code you'll get a pretty good team and then you'll start accumulating the starter kits and that's pretty much it thank you guys for your time hope you enjoyed the video have a good one